Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Today, tutorial number nine, we're going to do a real easy one. It says no coding, but it's actually very little. It's like two lines of code, I think. So uh, let's do it. Uh, it's short and sweet. Just create a new panel. Right click on canvas, create a new panel. Delete that for now. Turn the alpha up. Let's change the color to red or something you like. You can leave it as white, it doesn't matter. I just want to use red because it's really easy to uh, see what's going on. And it looks like um, Bill is having some issues right now. Bill, you need to step it up. Come on, dude. So um, keep everything tidy. Create a new animation folder. Animations, animation, what do we want? Anim. Something that you know your animation is going there. Open animation window up. Pretty easy so far. Click on your red panel and click create. Go in your animations folder, call it what you like, and type fast as you can. Thank you. And now make sure you're on the panel. Hit the record button animation window. Uh, move it forward as far as you like. Uh, we'll just keep it easy. Move it to one second. So where we're going to go is create a keyframe. We're just checking the alpha. There you go. So you see what happened. When you turn the alpha to zero, it already did the animation for you from solid red and it fade out to zero alpha. So you get a nice little fade going on. And you can check by testing real quick. The game object, the panel is activated right now and you can see that it's just looping. Looks like... That's a... I love that sound. Looks like Bill um, has animation set to looping, so the animation, of course, keeps on looping. Do another check real quick. Turn it on, and then it keeps on looping. Okay, well, that's fine, so let's fix that. First, uh, I think Bill is going to go into the Game Manager Bob script, check it out real quick, and do that. Bob, turn to loop time. Turn it off. Check, see if it loops again. Is it still looping? Bob. Yeah, Bob. Is it Bob or Bill? Who's, who's the intern today? I don't know. I don't know who the intern is today. It's Bob or Bill. I think I got Bill mixed up the game manager, Bob. So a little ram is running, 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 and he hits the wall, and boom. Ta da! Red. Game over, man. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to turn the panel um, on. We're going to activate it make set it to true when uh, the game is over. So we'll add the red panel fade in to the game over function. Move back over here. Game Manager Bob, don't forget to click and drag your panel into the inspector where it belongs. Give it a little home. Copy and paste the name of your game object into the function we'd like to use. In this case, the game over. Set active to true. And so when the game is over, the red panel should fade in. And round man cruising. Boom. Problem with that is, though, it fades out. So we need to go ahead and change it because we want to fade in. So go back into your, um, not that one, not that Bob. That's a different story. Go back to your animation window and just switch the key range, the keyframes around. Set that one to the first and the first to the last and now let's see what happens Bob Bill game manager Bill Bob boom now one little quick problem with that though is um, the red is on top of the buttons and we don't want that so one way you can keep that in order is put it underneath the buttons which in the case in the hierarchy you actually put it on top which seems counter intuitive but that's the way the unity folks roll and that's it guys really easy short and sweet today it was like four minutes two lines of code you can fade your object in you can fade anything you want pretty much I believe so you can animate pretty much anything and sometimes that saves you a bit of time and um, that's it for today we'll catch you next time please leave a like and subscribe and happy coding see ya